when a weightlifter lifts some weights, then she's transferring chemical energy in her muscles into gravitational potential energy as the weights get lifted up a certain distance. And we say that the, the weightlifter would be doing work because the force that the weightlifter applies would be moving the weights through a distance. And in this case, we could say the distance is a height h. And remember that force times distance is equal to work done. And that is energy transferred from one form to another, in this case, chemical into gravitational potential energy. So what's the equation which links the change in gravitational potential energy um, with the height and the, the mass of the weights as they're lifted up through that distance? And of course, this is going to depend on what planet you're on as well, because uh, if you try to lift these weights on the moon, it would be a lot easier because the gravitational force the gravitational field strength, g, is a lot weaker on the moon than it is on Earth. So all of these, all of these quantities, the gravity field strength, the mass that you're lifting, and the height through which you're lifting the weights, will all play a part. So let's take a look at this uh, equation for gravitational potential energy. And before we start, um, it's probably better to say the equation for the change in gravitational potential energy because it's always relative to where you started and so we'll we'll put that on here by putting a delta sign because the delta the greek delta sign means change in so we've got the change in gravitational potential energy and if you want to you can also put a little p there for potential but uh, that's up to you. OK, so we need to name each quantity and state the units. So let's do that. So the change in gravitational potential energy is the mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength of the planet that you're on. And on Earth, that is usually taken as being 10 newtons for every kilogram multiplied by the change in height. And there's that delta sign again, the change in height. So here, let's write out the quantities. So delta E is the change in gravitational potential energy. And the units of that, because it's energy, will be joules. M stands for mass of course and the standard unit for mass in physics is the kilogram g is the gravitational field strength gravitational field strength and on earth i said that's about 10 newtons per kilogram so the unit is newtons per kilogram because that's telling you how much force gravity pulls down on each kilogram of mass that you have and finally delta h is the the change in height the change in height of the masses that are being lifted okay now interestingly m times g is actually the force or the weight force. So we could just put a little W there. That's, that's the weight of the mass that you've got. And remember, we said that when force does work, it transfers energy. Well, here's a force, and it's multiplied by distance. So we've got force times distance, and that is work done. So that's just a little observation that uh, uh, may give you a little bit more understanding about this equation. But for the moment, let's just remember that the change in gravitational potential energy is equal to the mass times gravity field strength times by delta H, the change in height.